A massive political controversy as the BJP gets ready to target Congress President Sonia Gandhi as part of an all-out offensive in Parliament on the 3600 crore VVIP chopper deal. This afternoon, an Italian court has cited documents that name Sonia Gandhi and former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Vishnu Shom with that report. There are two or three uh, times that Sonia Gandhi's name has been mentioned. Now, let me get straight to the point. This is the first instance and this is a, a, a bit of a letter written by one of the middlemen in this deal, Giro Hashka. And the, the, the content of this letter is, uh, is very simple. It says that Mrs. Gandhi is driving this deal to replace Mi-8 helicopters with a newer VIP helicopter. A newer VIP helicopter uh, is what she wants to fly on. Those aren't, that's a rough translation, but that's what this part actually has to mention. If you go down the same page, you've got a mention of Ahmed Patel, who is uh, the, the secretary of Sonia Gandhi. You've got mention uh, also of, of Pranab Mukherjee, uh, but uh, Oscar Fernandez. But I should mention that just the, the, the mention of a name, uh, the inclusion of a name doesn't at all imply uh, that they are guilty of anything. And that, in fact, is the key point. There is nothing in this document which indicates that there is a money trail leading right up uh, to any Congress leaders. There is only mention of their name. But there is another very interesting uh, mention, this one of Prime Minister, or the former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Uh, and this is a letter written by one of uh, the uh, executives of Augusta Westland when he was actually in jail. He w felt that he was, uh, he was connected enough to actually reach out to the office of Prime Minister Singh through uh, the Italian Prime Minister, Mr. Monti, and also the Italian Ambassador, Mr. Terracciano, to, uh, to uh, London. Uh, and this is actually the, the, the writing uh, over here of one of these people who was in jail, one of the top executives, in fact, of, um, uh, of Augusta Westland. And finally, again, there is a document between uh, Michelle, the main middleman who I've mentioned, and Guido Hashka, who worked very closely with him, another uh, middleman. Hashka is based in Switzerland, Michelle apparently based in the United Kingdom, which talks of the payoffs. And I find this particularly interesting but it says Air Force, 6 million euros should go to the Air, possibly the Air Force Chief, the Deputy Chief, um, the Director General of Maintenance. This is BUR, which refers to bureaucracy. DS is Defense Secretary. JS Air is Joint Secretary Air. Uh, DG Acquisitions, these are all very important people in the Ministry of Defense. And finally, uh, to politicians and to FAM, which refers to family. It's uh, 15 to 16 million euros of the 30 million need to go to these players. Now, who are these players? There is AP, is that Ahmed Patel? Again, it's just two initials over here, but Mr. Patel, who is the secretary to Sonia Gandhi, his name is mentioned elsewhere uh, in the judgment. And FAM, we are led to believe, refers to the family of uh, the former chief of air staff, Air Chief Marshal S.V. Tiagi, who is an accused in this particular case and against whom uh, there is an investigation underway. On what basis have they said that I got money? On what basis have they said that I, have got corrupt, uh, I was corrupt? I do not know. And I don't want to comment because I have no idea. We have sent the recommendation to the government, to the government, to the government, to the government, final decision is to take the Rakshamantri. So the NSA also involved, the involved in Rakshamantri. Under attack for weeks, the BJP has now decided to name Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi in the Augusta Chopper deal case. While the details are being worked out how to raise it in Parliament, they are going to rely on this Italian court order to name both Sonia Gandhi and a close political aide, Ahmed Patel. We know which do uh, document is being referred to. It's an unsigned document. We should not make any loose comments. We are talking about the Congress president, talking about the Congress leadership. In 2010, the then Congress-led government ordered 12 of them for VIP travel. But after allegations of kickback, the order was cancelled in January 2014. Augusta Westland is not an isolated incident. It is a series of acts of gross impropriety and corruption which has become the byword of the UPA 1 and UPA 2. An Italian court last week reportedly said that the UPA government did not share critical information on the deal. After that judgment, the BJP now wants a debate in parliament, targeting the top Congress leaders. The Congress says it has nothing to hide. He won the case. As a result, he got all the money and little more that. 
we got little more than what we paid to them by way of bank guarantee. The BJP wants to go on the offensive over the Augusta Westland deal and cite it as yet another example of the corruption that took place during UPS tenure. But the Congress has a counter question. Why has the Modi government removed the manufacturer of Augusta Westland from the list of blacklisted companies? Something that the UPA had done. With Sunil Prabhu in New Delhi, Sandeep Pukan, NDTV.